Bundy, The Deliberate Stranger by Richard W. Larson is a detailed chronicle of the crimes, capture, trial, and psyche of Theodore Ted Bundy, one of America's most notorious serial killers. Through extensive research, interviews, and access to law enforcement records, Larson paints a comprehensive portrait of a charming and intelligent man whose monstrous actions belied his outwardly normal appearance. The book begins by introducing Ted Bundy, a handsome and articulate young man who initially appears to be a successful law student with a bright future. He's described as someone who could easily engage with others, known by friends and acquaintances for his charisma. However, this facade masks the brutal and sociopathic tendencies that led him to murder numerous young women across several states during the 1970s. Larson meticulously recounts Bundy's early life, highlighting possible factors that may have contributed to his deviant behavior. Bundy had a complicated family background, with a birth that was initially kept secret due to the stigma of being born out of wedlock at the time. The formative years saw Bundy struggling with his identity and harboring a growing resentment and anger. As Bundy matured, he experimented with petty crimes and displayed an increasing interest in voyeurism and violent sexual fantasies. His targets were primarily attractive, young college-aged women, who he approached with a charm that belied his intentions. Bundy often feigned injury or disability to elicit sympathy and help from his victims, after which he would overpower, sexually assault, and ultimately kill them, often revisiting their corpses until putrefaction made it unbearable. Larson describes the mounting alarm as women began to disappear in Washington State and later in Utah, Colorado, and Florida. Despite several close calls and an arrest in 1975 for a minor offense, Bundy managed to elude true suspicion for some time. His luck ran out after a second arrest where evidence, including a collection of IDs and clothing from victims, started piling up against him. The book delinquently explores the psychological aspects of Bundy's dual existence, attempting to understand how he was able to compartmentalize his life, maintaining the facade of a law student and political aspirant while simultaneously living as a predatory murderer. His ability to manipulate those around him, including his girlfriend, friends, and even the media, is portrayed as both extraordinary and chilling. Larson delves into the exhaustive efforts by law enforcement to link Bundy to the crimes. Despite Bundy being a suspect and under surveillance, it required considerable time and the advancements in forensic science, like dental record matching and the nascent field of criminal profiling, to start closing the net on him. Larson also touches upon the various psychological profiles and evaluations Bundy underwent, some of which pegged him as a sociopath with a fragmented personality. Captured and brought to trial, Bundy initially served as his own attorney, showcasing both his intelligence and his arrogance. Larson provides readers with a detailed account of the legal proceedings, including Bundy's courtroom antics, his sensational escape from prison in Colorado, his subsequent final capture in Florida, and the horrifying Chi Omega Florida State University sorority house killings that eventually led to definitive evidence against him. Bundy's trials in Florida are given extensive coverage in the book, particularly the Chi Omega case, which was the first to employ bite mark evidence to link a suspect to their victim. Bundy's erratic behavior during the trial is noted, along with the media circus that the trial became. The psychological warfare that occurred between Bundy and the law enforcement officials, with Bundy attempting to outsmart investigators and lawyers alike, is a testament to his complex and manipulative nature. As the narrative unfolds, the scale of Bundy's crimes becomes more apparent. Larson presents a figure whose superficial charm and intelligence masked a deep-seated predilection for rage and control over his victims. The insidious nature of Bundy's predations is matched only by the gravity and thoroughness of legal and investigative efforts to bring him to justice. Bundy, the deliberate stranger, provides a haunting look into the life of Ted Bundy and the devastating impact of his years-long series of crimes. Bundy's interactions with his defense team, the eventual crumbling of his defense, his growing notoriety, and his eventual confession to over 30 homicides although the number is believed to be higher, are depicted in grave detail. 
The book also covers the emotional toll taken on the families of the victims, the exhaustive and often frustrated efforts of detectives and law enforcement across multiple states, and the judicial process, including the appeals that dragged on until Bundy's execution in the electric chair at Florida State Prison in 1989. The candor and compassion with which the author treats the stories of Bundy's victims and their families bring a somber weight to the book, as does the examination of Bundy's ultimate fate. Larson's work on Bundy, the Deliberate Stranger, ultimately serves as a harrowing reminder of the dual nature of human beings, how a person can be both ordinary and yet capable of extraordinary evil, and the tale of one man who embodied this dissonance to a disturbing degree. Through exhaustive research and a comprehensive recounting of events, Larson provides a meticulous, chilling account of one of the most enigmatic figures in the annals of American crime, ensuring that while Ted Bundy's name may be remembered, the suffering of his victims and the lessons learned from his atrocious crimes are never forgotten. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.